Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are visiting the Mortal Realms with the new Chaos Chosen Forces Slaves to Darkness. These models are absolutely amazing. <laughs> they just look so, so good. I'm absolutely in love. They were sent to me early by Games Workshop as part of the Slaves to Darkness army set and well, we're just going to jump in and we're going to start painting them. They've been primed in grey sear. And the first colour we're going to be using is Iron Warriors. Now we're going to be focusing on these three, but we've got all ten of them to do. So we're going to be doing that for all of them. And if there's any individual details, which you know, to be fair, we've got the majority of them here on the champion, the banner and the musician. We're going to be picking them out if they come up. So. As mentioned, we're going to be using some thinned down Iron Warriors first. I'm going to be applying this over the top of all of our armor, our weapons, and all of our chainmail. So we're going to be getting this all over the top like this. Now, it doesn't matter if you get this over the top of any of the trim, because we're going to be covering over that with a gold anyway. But that area, well, the trim, is indeed going to be... A different color so you can avoid that for now if you wish but honestly don't worry too much about it if you do get any of this on there the only things to watch out for are anything that aren't going to be metal such as like the soft wraps or any leather or the joints in the armor as well as the occasional boot that some of them have in place of an armored greave but otherwise you just want to go for it like this Getting this all over. Just like that. So with all of that Iron Warriors applied, as you can see, to all of these Chaos Chosen, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this to all of our kind of remaining trim. As you can see, there is a ton of it. So I would recommend having the box art in front of you, the product photography. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna very methodically now work our way up the model from the legs, picking out all of the trim and decorative features and pointed stars and various other bits and bobs. There's a hell of a lot of gold here, you see. So with all of that gold applied, we've got some pretty cool looking Chaos Chosen. They're very shiny at the moment. Don't worry, we are going to deal with that, but we're not going to deal with it just yet. Because what we are in fact going to do is we're going to move on to the next couple of colours. Because we're going to be doing an all over shade that's really cool. So, the next colour we're going to be using is Black Legion. And I'm going to be using this for all of the kind of soft details and things on our Chosen. So, what we've got is we've got areas such as their undershirts. and any of the kind of joints and things. In the armor. So with that Black Legion all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this to a number of different areas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply that Flesh Terrors Red over the top of any of the soft grips on all the weapons, on the standard, on the drumstick. So 
just like that sort of thing. We'll do the bottom half in just a moment. Whereas on this Champion, I'm just gonna absorb a little bit of the paint there, it's a little bit too much. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna apply this over the top of the kind of tabards. We need the smooth tabards. like that and on this champion we're going to apply this over the plume as well so with that done what we're now going to do is we're going to move on to the next color and that's going to be gore grunt of fur and we're going to be applying this to any of our peturges and there's not very many of them but this guy for example has some it's got them just hanging down here Like that. And like that. There's some more on the other side. However, you do have the occasional ones. So there's two in the set of ten. This guy, for example, where they've got a full set of tabarded ones. So we're just going to apply this over the top of that as well. And on occasion, there's some just nestling behind the red. Tab art. So with that Gorgrunt of Fur applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to use this over the top of all of our remaining leather. So this is the belts and straps and the couple of boots so that we have that aren't made of metal. So we're going to take that wild wood on our brush and we're just going to start painting this over the top. Just like this. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to shade all of those details with Targor Raid Shade. We're not going to do the ones we haven't painted in yet, but we're going to go over the top of everything. So, oh, dropped one. Never mind. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take that Targor Raid Shade and we're just going to load up our brush here. I'm going to start applying this over the top of all the silver, all the gold, all the brown, all the red, all of it. So with that Targor Raid shade applied all over, as you can see, they've started to take a leap forward. It's starting to look pretty cool. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more shade. And this one's going to be Null Oil. We're gonna be applying this over the top of the silver armor. We're not gonna be putting it anywhere else, just on the silver armor. So what we're gonna do is just gonna load up our brush with that Null Oil. And we're just gonna pick a place to start. Now I'm just gonna start down here. So we're just gonna pop this over the top like that, and it's just going to darken down that metal even more.
So with that null oil applied over the top of the silver armor, we've got this really lovely dark metal. It just looks fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to our next color. And that's gonna be Agrax Earthshade. And we're not gonna be doing this as a shade. We're gonna be doing this as an actual color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Agrax Earthshade over the top of any horns or spikes, or tufts, or anything like that that are protruding from our Chaos Chosen, just like this. So it's generally kind of around the heads, but some of them have got them coming out of the shoulder pads as well. That's way too much. So with that Agrax Earthshade applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this all over those skulls, the drum skin, and any of the kind of remaining sort of bones and little trinkets and things that they might be carrying. So we've got some skulls up here. And you just want to grab that the Skeleton Horde over the top of, like so. there, we've got that one there, over here, and of course have the drum skin. So with that skeleton horde applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some dark ice flesh and we're going to apply this to all of the skin. And there's not a lot of them on here. What we do have is we have the kind of leader's hand just here, like this. You can see their eyes through the helmets. And if you have any bareheaded ones, you'll want to do this here as well. There is a hand on hanging off the belt of one of our chosen which we are going to do this over the top of as well and so with that done we've just got one last base coat to apply and that is going to be some Griff Charger Grey now we're going to be applying this over the top of any of the little rune stones that these guys are holding on to. Just like that. So with that done, these guys are very nearly at a war hipster battle ready. We've just got one more colour, and that is Berserker Bloodshade. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the flesh. So with those shades applied, our Chaos Chosen are now at what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. They're looking pretty awesome. And you could just leave it there if you wanted to. However, we're not going to do that, of course not, no. What we are going to do, in fact, is take them to the next level. We're going to do this by adding some highlights. So the first one we're going to do is Iron Hand Steel. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of our silver. That's right, all of it. So this is going to take a little time. There's two major highlights here which take the longest, but once they're done, the models are pretty much there. So you just want to pick out all of the edges across all of the armor with the iron hand steel. Just 
just like this. Just take your time, work your way up the models. And then once that's done, we shall return. So with that iron hand steel all applied, as you can see, these guys are looking pretty dope. However, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the next highlight and that is going to be some thinned down Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the gold. What you'll see here is this is where it really starts to kind of take off. So with that done, your Chaos Chosen should be looking, well, nearly finished. They're looking already amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the kind of metallics. We're going to do this by adding some glowing wounds. And we're going to be doing this on all the areas that we want to kind of have that kind of infernalness to them that you can see on the box art. So it'll be things like runes on any of the weapons, the runes, well, the, the eyes around here on the banner and just various other little bits and bobs. It's, it's your choice, really, at this point. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some Luganath Orange. We're going to thin it down with some water to the point of where it's very, very, very thin. Because so what we want to do is we basically want to drop. So when we, when we pop it there on, in fact, you'll see it on the model. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this blob into those runes and just kind of fill up the recess. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I've got like six parts water in here like that if it's thin enough on some of them you should be able to just touch your brush and it'll just fill up the majority of the recess use your brush as well if you've got too much just take some of it off and just dab it in to absorb some of it if it's too much now don't worry I'm not gonna just leave them looking like this if you think they look a little bit too stark what we are just gonna do is we're gonna make our way around like this picking out all the areas we want to glow and then once that's done come back. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, because it does take a little bit of a time to dry because we thinned it down so much, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Now this is entirely optional. You don't have to do this. do this if you feel confident. So with that Black Legion applied to the eyeballs, I'm going to leave them like that because I really like the idea of those totally black eyes, completely black eyes. These are chaos chosen after all. However, we are still on the highlighting train because we're still waiting for that Luganath orange to dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Screaming Skull. I'm gonna use this to highlight 
both the Agrax Earthshade details and the Skeleton Horde details. So for example, on this guy here, we've got the skull and his belt, but also the horns on his helmet and on his shoulder. And with that done, we're then going to take some Dawnstone and we're going to use this to highlight any of our black details. So with that Dawnstone applied, we're then going to take some Kislev Flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight any of our skin. So with that done, it is now time to finish off those glowing runes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some Griff Hound Orange and we're going to apply this over the top of our area that we want to glow and then we're going to wick off a bunch of the excess. So we're going to grab that Griff Hound Orange on our brush like this and then down here on the axe, we're just going to apply it like that all over that section. Then what we do is we wash the brush and then using a clean brush we just pull off what we don't want nice and quickly. And like that. You can always add a bit more in if you pull too much off. So for example just around those runes. Like that. Wash the brush, and then just pull off a little bit more of that excess that we don't want there. Like so. Same on the back here. Add the Griffhound Orange, wash the brush. Absorb the excess. Like so. demonstrate again on the banner. So for example around here what we're going to do is on the forehead of those runes we add the Griffhound Orange, wash the brush and then just wick off some of that excess. Same around the eyes In the mouth, like that. There we go, that looks pretty awesome. And then lastly, we have our drummer. With a little bit of runage on the blade down here. We're just gonna add a little bit of Griffhound Orange too, like so. Wash the brush. And then just pull off some of that excess. That we don't want there. Like that. Just put a little bit on the inside. 
side just here as well. Like that. And so as a final flourish on these guys with those runes all nice and dry, as you can see, they look absolutely fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Stormhost Silver. I'm going to very gently apply this as a dry brush to the most kind of extreme details. So for example, just there across the top of the axe, like that. Add a little bit of it along the cutting edge. I'm going to add some of this around the chest. Like that. Tops of the knees. And just around the helmet. And the tips of horns. Just very kind of... It's like a spot highlight here. It's very targeted dry brushing. Just adding a little bit of a extra shine here and there. And so with their bases complete, the Chaos Chosen are now finished and I think they might be one of my most favourite units I've ever encountered. <laughs> Across both game systems, they just look phenomenal. They're, something, they're just so chaosy. It's really, really cool. It's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's quite reminiscent of old Chaos models, but without the shields and the swords. You know, those old Chaos Warriors, which we're about to get new ones of, allegedly, which is very, very, very cool. So, yeah, just really, really happy with these. And that's Silver Armor, Chef's Kiss. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further, like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.